comrades, 30 years of dysfunctional municipalities and poor services, 30 years of inequality and without the economy growing. When Cyril took over from Zuma, they said, this is a billionaire. He knows the economy. He's growing, is going to grow our economy. He has not contributed any growth to our economy. If anything, if this man is not removed, this economy will collapse to nothing after 2024. We've got the power to rescue our economy come 2024. Comrades, here in Guazul Natal, we have a premier who agreed, who agreed to be a puppet. And then you guys, Magasela and them, you post pictures sympathizing with her. It's not about a man abusing a woman. A woman agreed from the beginning to be used as a puppet. Why should a woman agree to that? In the name of women. Because it was told to her that no, Uzopata Marawiaz, Ugutiyim Petela. So the friends are fighting because the other one is disloyal to her puppetary status. She agreed that she will be a puppet and she will hold it for Duma because Duma can't take it immediately. It will expose them. When Duma does what they two agreed, it looks like it's a Woman abuse is not a woman abuse. It's factional arrangements. When factions have met and agreed that they are going to fool us, now they can't tolerate each other and they embarrass one another in public. They say, Premier, come and carry the cup. Duma goes to carry the cup. Duma never blocked the Premier. The premier knows the real premier is here. That's why she's standing. No one analyzes that. Because we must use gender to suppress factional politics of the ANC. No one sees that the premier is not. It is announced openly. A premier and that other white man, I don't know him. They say, you two are going to lift at the cup the white man moves forward to go and take the cup Duma moves forward to go and take the cup why didn't the premier move because it was announced that premier she knows where she is that she is not a premier she agreed to be used as a front and as a puppet and you cannot have sympathy with people who agree to be used by men. Because from the beginning, you should have said, I don't want this. You can do it yourself. Why do you want me to manage it for you? So you are a, a province without a premier. Because the one you have is not a premier. The real premier is Duma. And it will not end now, Shem. It's going to be worse going into elections. Because Duma, I just told you earlier, they are non-thinkers. They thought it's obvious for ANC to win 2024. Therefore, she will be a premier temporarily. Duma is going to take the full term after 2024. Uzo ebona ezulini he will never be a premier yet. It's a missed opportunity. He will never see it. He will be a premier in his kitchen. Not here in KwaZulu Natal. Factionalism denied him an opportunity to be a premier. It's none of our problems. 
we are taking it ourselves directly and we will not put puppets. We will put thinkers of KwaZulu Natal into that big responsibility of steering the ship on behalf of the EFF. So, comrades, let's ensure that when we go to elections next year, we remind our people that, you know, a municipality like Msunduzi, municipality, gives money to a soccer team. Sponsorship to a soccer league. We have no problem with soccer and teams being supported. But we ought to know where are we sourcing the support because we cannot go into poor municipalities to take money. That is meant to put in tabs, infrastructure, and give it to soccer teams of people with money. How do you give Mamukize money? Because it's supposed to be the other way around. She should give the poorest municipalities of KwaZulu Natal money. Because Mamukize is more rich than a lot of municipalities here in KwaZulu Natal. But your municipalities like pretending like they are rich, rich, richer than rich people. Imagine a person saying, we are going to give sundowns 10 million to play in Moses Mabida. Sundowns doesn't need 10 million. Can't we do something effective to develop football in KwaZulu Natal than to give 10 million to a club that doesn't want it? It doesn't want it. The owner of sundowns, when sundowns has won a, a, a competition and there is money, the owner takes that money and share it amongst the players. The players. So you go and take money and give to people who don't have, a, who don't need that particular money. There's nothing wrong in developing sports, in investing in local sports, in making sure that football becomes a big thing in KwaZulu Natal, but not at the expense of the poor municipalities which are about to close shop because they are not, not sure what's going to happen to them in the next few months.